this is Stampy, and welcome back to a Minecraft Let's Play video. This is the sister challenge where I am controlling Minecraft using nothing but my own sister. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sister. That's what we that's what I call you. <laughs> Hi, sister. Hi, brother. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is the sister challenge. Up until now, we've built a house. Have a quick look at the house, our beautiful home. Ah, home sweet home. <laughs> and then we baked a cake, quickly pan to the cake. Ooh, where's the cake? Have you lost it? Oh, come on, you know where the cake is. Oh, by the water. <laughs> behind, yeah, behind. There we go, in the distance, there we go. There's a cake over there that we made. And now we need to mine and get a diamond. So maybe if you cut down a tree quick to gather some wood before we set off. Uh, we probably have just about enough food to last us. And then we basically need to wander around, find a cave, and uh, to get diamonds, you only find them at the very bottom layers of the world. So we need to try and find a big cave that's going to go really deep, uh, is the big plan. So uh, should we set off in that direction we've not set off in before? Yeah. Because yeah, then we can just explore a bit of the land, and it's a good set off quick as well before uh, it becomes night. And uh, we're not going to be returning home until we've got a diamond. So if you go to your chest, I'd put everything that you don't need into it and grab everything you are going to need because this is probably going to be your your last time seeing home for a while so it's sad i know was, it, was that a little <laughs> sniff there was that a little sniff little oh <laughs> goodbye crafting corner <laughs> goodbye bone <laughs> yes yeah, so if you look in the chest so you want to dump almost everything basically so you want to keep maybe keep some of your stone blocks keep your food your tools and your torches oh. everything else if you just go across and just press y on it all and keep then, the torch. Yeah, keep your torches, keep your pickaxe, get rid of them, get rid of the bones, unless you want to find a dog in the way, you can keep them actually. Yeah, keep them. Okay, so keep the coal as well, but the wheat, uh, under your wood you want to keep, so you get rid of the wheat, uh, get rid of the, the buckets and stuff, just to keep it like clear, because as oh. you're mining you're going to be gathering up loads of blocks, so. Why has it gone down here? Oh, you're not on, you're not on the, the chest, you've got to... Gonna... Press left trigger on the chest, there we go. Oh. Now you're going to be fitting it in, I think that was my bad. <laughs> Yeah, so grab the wheat, so I'll put that mushroom in. Keep the sticks, you might as well. Uh, get rid of the sugar cane. Wooden shovel. Yeah, get rid of that. Uh, keep I'll, that just in case I break the other one. Yeah, keep your stone sword. You probably won't need it. Mm. Uh, you might grab grab a bit more iron as well in case you want to make a, an iron shovel at some point. Actually, you haven't even got a shovel. You could make a, an iron shovel now if you want. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, I'd get rid of the, the buckets. You're not going to need them. And the rotten flesh. Yeah, get rid of the rotten flesh and the buckets. Yeah, then there we go. That that will do. So if you go to your crafting table now, I don't. I want to get rid of like the sugar. Okay. I want to get rid of the sugar cane. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, good. Okay. So you look look to the crafting table. You want to make yourself an iron shovel. And iron shovels are good because you only need one piece of iron. So they're they're pretty cheap as far as crafting goes. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> catch! <Okay. laughs> uh, you don't need to worry about making an iron axe because there's not many trees under the ground. So if you go down twice, there you go. Right, you've got everything you need, so set off. Should I put the iron back in there? Uh, I'll take it with you in case in case you want to make some tools down there, in case you break your pickaxe or something. Uh, but apart from that, we should be set to go. So pick a direction uh, that we've not been in before and uh, set off. Goodbye, home. It was nice knowing you. You're just going to head straight to the water. If you want, if you bring up your map, you could actually, if you press Y... Whoop, a little jump for joy there. <laughs> Heading off on a new adventure, I can't wait. <laughs> you go have a look at the, the map and you can kind of see the directions. Like the, the world isn't endless on Xbox, so I think going that way you're going to be getting to the boundary of the world. Ooh. So now you want to keep your iron sword at hand just in case. Are we having a look at the map? Yeah, just look down. We do, oh. just be holding it, just look down. So yeah, you're kind of heading off to the edge of the world. So if you do like a 180, and then maybe head off in the other direction. Oh. <laughs> you, you want to take that with you? <laughs> oh, where's my sword? Uh, you, you put it in your pocket. Oh. <laughs> I thought oh. we all... Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Accidentally planted a tree. Uh. So yeah, I'd, I'd grab your sword just so you got it at hand. So press Y to open up the inventory. Then just press Y on the sword again. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're still at the point where you've got to look at the controller to see where the buttons are, I guess. All right, so if you look at your map, so you just hold it in your hand, so just use the bumpers to switch around, then you can kind of see the direction you want to head off on. So basically everywhere that's all just kind of you can't see means you've not been there before. So you've been all around this area. So if you kind of just keep heading straight up here, then you're going to be moving into uncharted territory. Right, set off. 
You can have one little quick slice of cake if you want as you go past, seeing as it's right here. Um, no, it's okay. No, you're right next to it. No. No, no cake. That was, that was the last challenge. We got we got bigger fish to fry now. We don't have time to sit around eating cake like you normally do. <laughs> so basically, we're just looking for the entrance of a big cave. Uh, if you want, if there's some easier, you might want to kill some animals on your way there just to make sure you, you, you have some food while you're down there because there's not really anything to eat when you're down in the mine. The only thing to really eat is rotten flesh. Which you oh. get from zombies, which it poisons you sometimes. Oh, there's a dog! There's a dog, 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 Where? dog, dog. Turn around. Oh. Whoop, there. Oh, there we go. Where's my phone? There you go, you got six of them. So you've got six chances to get the dog. You'll be very unlucky not to get this. Here you go. Oop, <laughs> moonwalking. <Come on. laughs> you gotta, it won't come to you. You gotta. Okay, it oh, might. Oh. Just, just keep come pressing on. left trigger. And like, like, while close to it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Press left trigger on it. Just keep pressing it. You gotta look, look, look at it. That's it, keep doing it. Oh no, you've, you've given it a few and it's not taking it. You've got four bones left. Come on. So you remember that little white cross? It's got to be on it. you got to go a bit closer. Look at it just tilting its head. So walk forward, go a bit closer. That's it, jump up. There you go. Now look at it and press oh, left no, trigger. No, no. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, when we face a creeper in the mine, I'm going to cry. Right, go on, go down to it. It's just down there. Come on. Look down and press left trigger. Keep Come pressing on. left trigger and move to the left of it. I'm trying. That's it. Just be looking at it. Look up a little bit. Look up a little bit more. Now keep pressing left trigger. There we Yay! go. Now you want to press left trigger again to tell it to stand up. Now it's going to follow you around. Don't get too attached because <laughs> mines are not safe for dogs. Uh, but yeah, you can go. If you go hit an animal now, the dog will just go after it. Ah. These pretty little vicious things they are. Ooh. What should we call? Should we call him Victor? Vicious yes. Victor. Okay. Yes. Yes, we will. We will call him Victor, and he will be glorious. There he is. All right, we don't want to spend too long doing this because it is going to be becoming night soon. But if you just go and tap that cow, then Victor will just go after it. Oh. So if you just go hit it once, like hit it, other one, other one, right trigger hit, left trigger place. There we go. Now look at the cow. Victor's going to go for it. There Poor he goes. Victor. Yeah. Now jump down and grab the food. And you can feed. If he gets hurt, you feed him the the meat to, to heal him. So if you carry on going the way you were going, nope, the other way. That's going back to your house. Yeah, if you go up that hill there. And then that, that's going to be heading to places oh, we've not been to before. We... Just break a block, then just jump up. Oh. Nope, that's dropping your sort of river. Right trigger, break blocks. Left trigger, place them. Oh yeah, oh. then just jump up there. <laughs> there you go. Now, now just walk. This is the just walk and try not to bang into things or fall into too many things if you can. <laughs> and uh, try and find the, the entrance to a good cave. There's a snowy biome over there. What's that? That's a sheep or there's a mushroom there. I would put it in your pockets, but I don't think there's mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good at these jokes. I am quite a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh look, I think I think there's a there's a jungle in the distance as well over there. You you just want Victor to go after another animal, don't you? Be careful not to hit Victor though. He won't like that. Hit it. That's it. No wrong one. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Look at him go! Look at him go! Come on, go! on! Yeah! Then he boy. looks at you like, did I do good, master? <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it'd be good to cook this food at some point. You could maybe make a furnace while you're while you're in the mine. Uh, so we're just looking for a good entrance. Oh, down down to the right. Is that a, a good cave? There's a cave. Remember, we want it to look like it's going to be going very deep. We don't want one of these these little caves. We want a a big man's cave. This is like a Ooh. big man's cave. Does that yes. look like going down this this cave's gonna put hairs on your chest? Yes, where's my torch? <laughs> yeah, let's light, let's light it up a little bit. Okay, oh. so we're looking for diamonds. Diamonds are, are blue. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> diamonds are. Oh, there's iron there. You might as well grab that actually while you're yeah. here. You just put a torch because you oh. can make. If you oh oh get your sword out get your sword out ah! get your sword out get your sword out quick. There's a skeleton there. Victor's going for him. Victor's. Go, 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 go oh. forward. Go, go, try and help Victor out if you can. There we go. Oh, Victor good saved the day. Boy. Ooh, okay, have something to eat, or is your hunger's not going to be going up. Um. And you want to put a torch down as quick as you can to stop more stuff spawning. Wh when you get attacked, Ooh. yeah, you need to stay calm. Just see, look around, see what's attacking you. Yeah, and then try and either run away or take it out, okay? Okay. We're gonna, that's nothing. We get, there's going to be groups of mobs down here. Oh, I think I So left trigger it. to place, right trigger to Ooh. break blocks. So press left trigger to place it. There we go. I think I just threw a torch on Okay, oh, there's a zombie down there. How do, uh... Oh, no, it's a skeleton. It's a skeleton. So you've got to switch to your sword. Now walk forward and go for it. There you go. Victor's helping you out well big done, time Victor. here. But Victor's going to get hurt, so... Oh, no. You can't just rely on Victor. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Go and kill it, kill it. Put down a torch as quick as you can. I... Go to the torch. Just look down at the floor. Look down at the oh, floor. No. Or then press left trigger. There we go. Oh, this is going to be harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's another ah! one there. Okay, Victor's really hurt. So press Y. Why? Now go to see that. See the, the very red beef you've got? Yeah. You want to give that to Victor because that's uncooked. He's not fussy. You, you can save the cooked stuff for you. So if you go and go and switch that for your bones or something, you're getting lots of bones from all these skeletons. Because yeah, I think we're gonna have to rely on Victor a lot because yeah, you're not you're not you're not handling these these encounters. <laughs> there we go. See his little head tilting. He Good sees you got boy. food. So just press left trigger on him twice, and that will. <laughs> Do I need to get that back? Yeah. So just press left trigger on his twice, and you'll see his little tail. We'll see his tail's quite hanging low. Yeah. It will lift up. So if you just walk backwards, here he'll come to you. So you go, 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 yeah, so you're looking at him, like go close to him, so you're looking at him. I like, imagine you're feeding it to him. Come on. That's so it, if you just jump down a bit, then you can look at it. There you go. You're giving him it? one. Yeah, and I give him the other one as well. Seems as you did save your life twice in a row. <laughs> there we go. So you've, you've healed him up a little bit. You're going to have to save them. You can also feed him rotten flesh as well. So if you kill okay. some zombies, which you probably will, you have to do that. So I'd carry on going down. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, just keep going down that way. You just want to go down as deep as you can, but just try and oh, tread. Do you, am I getting this? Yeah, you can get get the iron if you can. I mean, it'd be good to get you some iron armor because I think you do really need protection, but you do need quite a lot of quite a lot of iron for that, and then you need to smelt it as well. But if you just see any any iron that you can easily gather, uh, just be really careful not to to hit Victor. He's gonna keep jumping in front of you and doing all sorts. So <laughs> be be prepared to to stop swinging if you see him there. <laughs> And also be careful digging down, because if there's a hole directly underneath you, you'll just fall straight down, and right. it, it could be painful. <laughs> yeah, but you're doing fine. There's, there's some more iron to your right as well. It's quite dark, but yeah, if you go and break those two blocks as well. And uh, if you get four pieces of iron, that's enough to make some iron boots, which will Ooh. protect you a very small oh, amount. More there. Yeah, so I, I reckon once you've got a lot of iron... Oh, that's a hole. It's only, it's only a little one, I think. We just put a torch down. Remember to put down a torch if you want to see what you're doing. Really switch to it. You've got loads of torches, and there's going to be loads of coal down here, so you don't have to worry about wasting them. There you go. So it's, it's only a, a very little hole there, but you do want to be careful because there could have been a massive drop to lava there. You just have no idea. So if you try and get out of this hole, you, you never know. There might be more skeletons and stuff coming. So once you've got a bunch of iron, we can set up like a little mini base down here, and then you can go okay. and smelt your um, all your iron, and then hopefully make yourself some iron armor. And I think that's something we're definitely going to need to do. <laughs> just remember, you're going to be attacked. Stay calm and deal with it, okay? Just switch to your sword. Okay. I mean, always just have your sword out as you walk around. And In just... the water? Yeah, you want to you be heading down, but there's going to be stuff down there. So look, look where you're going. Look where you're going. And, and just be ready. Oh. Keep putting torches as you go, just so you can find oh, your no. way out as well. But then I won't have my sword. Just keep switching. Just remember, switch, switch. Just press the button twice to switch between them really oh. quickly. You can switch really fast, and you can switch while moving as well. Come on, this is you getting into Minecraft, Hopper. can I do a so, There we go, easy. You know, look where you're going. Look where you're going. Just keep staying looking ahead of you. Now look where you're going. That's it. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're getting there. Yeah, there's water there. Right. Okay. There's going to be stuff in this room. Okay. Just be ready for it. If you need to, you can back off to here, to this doorway. People don't know, but we're actually playing without sound here. So if you can hear any googlies, we can't. So we're going in completely blind, which is making it even harder. Right, so edging, I'd have your sword out ready and just go and have a look around and try and put torches all over the place. If there's a torch there, then they won't spawn because it will, it will light it up. They only spawn where it's dark. Okay, it looks good. Looking on ah! the skeleton, so switch to your sword. Now walk forward to the skeleton, swinging your sword. Just keep swinging, keep swinging. Look down a little bit, look down, look down, look up a little bit. There we go. Keep walking forward, keep walking forward and swinging, keep walking forward and swinging. One more hit and you're going to take it down. Okay, one more hit after that. There we go. Now back off, back off. Uh, I Go back to where you came from because you know there's no mobs in that direction and wait for your, your health to go up a little bit. There you go. You did it. You dealt, you dealt with this skeleton, okay? You're Come on, Victor. V Victor wasn't much help there as he has Is been he in stuck? the past. He'll be fine. He'll, 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 he won't get stuck. <laughs> if you go far away, he'll teleport to you. So you want to spread out a few torches around the place. Try and light it up as much as you can and then just be ready to be attacked again. It's going to happen again. Okay? okay, you just got to be you got to be ready for it. What I, what I really want to do then is try and get as much iron as you can then because I think we do need to 
kit you up with as much iron armor as we can. I think that is going to be very necessary. Otherwise, this is a dead end. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. But you've you've lit this area up now, so nothing can spawn there and attack okay. you from here. So this is this is your safe zone. So if you see an enemy and you don't feel ready to take it out, you can back off. Zombies are pretty easy because they can only hit you when they can reach you. Skeletons can be a bit tougher because they can kind of hit you and you get knocked back and stuff. So I'd put a torch down here. There's a little. You could actually break through that hole there as well and oh. look down that way. <laughs> That's it. You can actually break through that bit there. Just be ready for there to be something there. And just don't panic. You got the, you're doing really good so far. You're doing really good. Right, so you want to get a sword out and maybe have a quick look around just to make sure there's nothing there. And then if there's nothing there, put a torch down. There you go. It's a dead end. So you don't really want to go this way anyway because otherwise you're going to be so fighting against So no torch or with a torch? You can put a torch down if you want. I mean, if you just light up everywhere you go, basically. You've got Victor by your side looking after you. As I said, don't rely on him too much. He gets stuck on stuff and he's he'll be loyal, but not overly efficient. So walk forward. There's nothing directly in front of you, so you can put a torch down and just place it on the wall, on the floor or somewhere. Then switch back to your sword. Oh, you can put it on the floor. You put them anywhere. Apart from the ceiling, you can just place them wherever you want. Okay, there's probably going to be something around here, so be careful. I think there's some iron around here as well. There. Yeah, so put a torch uh, like just somewhere in this area. And then what I would do is I'd walk forward a bit more and place another torch and then come back just so you're kind of... You want to make sure nothing's sneaking up on you as you're mining. So go and place a torch just in this room here. Now keep walking. Oh, it might actually be... End. It might be. No, it's not. Okay, so turn around. Okay, put just another one more torch over that way somewhere. There we go. Now you can go back to the iron and you know you're going to be pretty much safe while, while mining it. Just go get your pickaxe out. And then I think after this we're gonna try and we're kind of gonna make a furnace down here and start smelting this iron and are gonna make as much uh, iron armor as we can now because I think it's gonna be quite needed for some protection. <laughs> There's just one more bit there to your left. That's just stone. <laughs> there we go. So if you go and jump on all of this, then you want to go grab your crafting table and put that down round here somewhere. Kind of this is your your safe zone. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Oh, wouldn't it be better back in the corner? You just uh, anywhere around here. I mean, you can go back the, the way you're being a bit more. It's probably a little bit safer. And uh, keep an eye out for any more iron around here. There's probably going to be some more. Oh, and then. My sword. Okay, so so if you put down a crafting table, you, you should be relatively safe around here. And there's some coal there as well, so you can gather that while the stuff's melting. So, do you have a crafting table? Okay, you don't have a crafting table on you, so do you want to make one quickly? Yeah. You've got plenty of wood, so uh, you'll be able to make some more torches and stuff. So, if you make that. And then plonk it down. Then you want to make a furnace. Do you remember what you need to make a furnace? Uh, one is, is this one? Yes, yeah. you, you you just put it yeah. away. <laughs> so you want to just make sure you got the the crafting table in your hand and place it down. That's it. Then just find a nice place to put it. Do you want to switch so you're holding it? Oh yeah. You're holding the sword. <laughs> the press left trigger. <laughs> you step back a little bit. That's it, then press left trigger on it, and you want to make a furnace. And so it, it's next to where the crafting table is. So if you go to the crafting oh. table, and then press down, that's the furnace there. So you want to make one of them, just like we did before. Then just plonk that down next to it. There we go. Portable Nettie's Crafting Corner. Bringing Nettie's Crafting Corner on the road. <laughs> then place one of them down. Oh. Oh, step back. And then you want to put your coal in the bottom, and then the, the iron oh. on the top. So if you just go and press Y on the coal, and then press Y on the iron. No, just press Y. Mm. So oh, put it back okay. down and press Y. Now go to the iron and press Y again. So that's down one, and then right one. So the, the iron ore you need, the one the ones oh. that look like what you mine. So you've got nine of them. Just go and press Y on that. So remember, use the arrows rather than the analog sticks, easier. Oh, there it is. There we go. Then that's there going to be smelting. So you're going to get nine pieces of iron from that. You should be able to make a chest plate. And so while that's going, do you want to gather up some more of the coal here? And yeah. then you can make a, a few more torches as well. So if you Ooh. go and start doing some mining just to get as much of that. And we do want to, before heading off too far, try and get some more coal and put it in the, uh, some more iron and put it in the furnace as well. So it'd be good to you. You probably want more iron than what you've got. Thirdly, though, uh, we have just about run out of time uh, in this episode of the, the sister challenge. And so we're doing it. You've done... You... <laughs> I'm amazed you've survived as, as long as you have down here, <laughs> considering everything. And once you're set up with iron armor, we seem to be in a good cave. I'm actually starting for the first time to feel confident that soon you're going to be holding your very own diamond. So Yay! that's the end of this episode here. There'll be a link in the description to the next episode, which will be online very soon. So I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye! Bye!